Let's go into adding a node. You can add a node through the color. If you want to complicate things, come to nodes and you have here, you can add a serial node, parallel node, a layer, and a splitter or an outside node, a floating node. Also, you can right click on a clip and go to add node and you have the options over here. Serial, serial before, parallel layer and outside. In normal practice, you are always interested in serial nodes. We will also learn about the parallel nodes. It has almost the same effect, but a different way of working. The shortcut is the easiest thing to do to use. It's Alt S or Option S on the Mac. Here you are. I added a node after the selected node. If I select this node again and press Alt S or Option S on the Mac, here you are. You added a node in between these two nodes. Let's add another one. And let's put it here. Let's add some gradings. So I'm going to use the primary wheel. Don't worry about what I'm doing now. I will explain to you the primary wheel later on in detail. Let's say we add the gain, as simple as this. Now notice on the node here, there is a small graph appearing. It says primary balance. This is primary wheels. This means that a primary balance or primary grading has been applied. You can decide to put this node off. So you click on its number. Here you are, another one, you put it off. By the way, guys, the clips here are numbered 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, and the nodes are numbered. There is no correlation between the numbering of the nodes and the numbering of the clips, okay? You can also decide to right click and reset node grid. Here you are, everything disappeared. I will add now, but I'll make it more, okay? So it's so obvious. So since you introduce some primary grading on this node, it will be very interesting to label this node and uh, give it something, you know, descriptive of what you added here. So you can right click on the node and go to node label. Sometimes the cursor will appear for you to write. Sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to call it primary. And please, guys, remember to press enter. Otherwise, if you click somewhere else, it might disappear. So now it's very clear for me. On this node, there is a grading applied and it's a primary grading. Let's take another node and do, for example, the same. I will label this node and say, for example, contrast. And press enter. And come over to the contrast here and take it up or down the way I would like. I will take it up, okay, to make it obvious. So now this node contains a primary grading and this node contains contrast grading you notice the concept here is so easy let's put them next to each other you can put them the way you would like you know arrange them the way you would like to think you can also think about it as a mind map for your grading and effects